For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be using Mugen 1.1. First, we will download the Add004 patch for Mugen 1.0 and 1.1. Grab it from the link in the description. And afterwards, we'll download the 3v3 slash 4v4 patch for Mugen. That link will also be in the description. Next, we'll install these two patches into your pre-existing Mugen directory. Let's start with the Add004 patch. We want to install this in order to gain access to the tag team functionality for Mugen 1.1. Double click the zip file and open the folder named Mugen. Press extract and navigate into your Mugen directory where your Mugen.exe file is located. Extract all the content of this folder here. It's helpful to think of the Add004 patch as a brand new screen pack. It pulls system data from the MM2 folder. The system.def as well as three different life bars containing unique fight configurations are located in these three folders, in which only one will be used depending on what executable file you run. It does, however, use the default Mugen 1.1 select.dev file located in the data folder. So if you weren't already using this dev file, then you must now add your character and stage entries into this specific text file. After you finish filling the select.dev file with your data, go back one folder. So in order to make your roster compatible with the tag patch, you must patch each individual character. We can do this by clicking on the file named add004pi.exe. Understand that there are three distinct ways to patch a character. You can double click your Mugen executable file. The patcher will then search your character folder and auto patch any character in this folder. This will not work on character folders that are located in a subfolder. They must all be in the same folder tree, which is immediately inside the character folder. The second way is using the patcher to individually locate the character's definition file and patching them one by one. This way is more tedious, especially if you have a large roster, however it yields better results and you have more control and oversight into the process. This is the recommended way. The last option is to manually patch the character by adding the necessary code to your character's data files. Although this method isn't too difficult, it is significantly more tedious than the previous two methods, and you also lose the option to easily unpatch or restore the character using the patcher. For these reasons, this method is not recommended. Only use this method if the first two methods were unsuccessful. So we'll use the second method and patch every character we want to play with by selecting their definition file. It's good form to always restore your characters first before clicking change to patch them. After you've finished patching your characters, we'll move to the next step of installing the 3v3 slash 4v4 patch. Open the rare file and select the appropriate folder depending on what Mugen you're using. In this case, we will open the Mugen 1.1 version. Extract the contents of this folder to the directory containing your Mugen executable file. This patch allows for either three or four characters to be selected in simultaneous mode, allowing for a maximum of eight characters to be present in a match at once. Normally, the simultaneous version option includes a friendly AI-controlled character during a match. The 3v3 slash 4v4 patch alters this by granting additional AI control characters in a match. So for player 1 and player 2, the simultaneous mode is now converted from 2 vs 2 to 3 vs 3 or 4 vs 4, depending on which patch you choose to run. Unfortunately, by default, the patches also switches off the AI for your teammates, which means a single player will control all characters on a team with one controller. Needless to say, this option isn't very user friendly and provides a poor experience. A workaround for this is using the debug keys during a match to control player one. The keys are as follows. Control plus one will toggle player one between an AI and human controlled character. Control plus two will toggle player two, and so on and so forth until player four. This works best during watch mode. 
Using control plus one for player one and or control plus two for player two will switch the control from AI to human. By default, all characters are AI enabled in watch mode, which supersedes the patch change, which means in this mode you can play alongside AI teammates in the traditional simultaneous mode sets. For non-watch mode games, this workaround is limited in that you can only convert one teammate from each team to an AI. So only through watch mode is this a playable method. But a better option is needed rather than being restricted to a single mode. For this reason, it's recommended to use the AI357 versions in Mugen 1.1. This extends the debug options by allowing you to switch from player one controlled teammates to AI controlled. Although it only works for player one, you can now toggle all three of your teammates to AI mode, allowing you to play in team arcade, team versus, and team survival. At this point, you're probably asking how do we combine this patch with the AS004 attack patch? So you'll notice that the two patches each have their own executable files and run independently from each other. In particular, the AS004 variations. Notice how there are four separate batch files for each AS004 fight setting to choose from. V004 or BS0 or SVC.bat acts as a normal game to which all of your tag partners are AI controlled. The P1 configuration only turns off player 3's AI. The P2 configuration only turns off player 4's AI. And most importantly, the versus batch file turns off the AI for both player 3 and 4, allowing for a 2 on 2 versus tag match. It's similar to the AI357 executable, but instead of turning on AI, it turns off the AI. We can combine the two patches by altering which system.def your Mugen CFG is reading. By changing the system.def from your pre-existing screen pack to the ad 4 screen pack, you have now integrated the two patches together. This can be run via the default 3v3 slash 4v4 patch executables. This works because the 3v3 slash 4v4 patch is simply a hack that is completely dependent on your default Mugen.exe file, to which your Mugen executable file reads the associated screen pack data directly from this line in your Mugen.cfg. So now that you've set the default screen pack as the AS004 patch, then the 3v3 slash 4v4 patch will now utilize the AS004 patch and add the ability to use additional characters in simultaneous mode in addition to the tag functionality. <laughs> Furthermore, the shortcomings I previously mentioned about the 3v3 slash 4v4 patch are eradicated by effectively fusing them. Choosing these executable versions means that the function of forcing all additional characters beyond P1 and P2 to human control players remains in effect in the tag environment. This trait even exceeds the versus AS004 variation in that this version only toggles P3 and P4 to human players, according to the README file. The combination of the 3v3 slash 4v4 patch means that all secondary characters are human controlled, allowing you to perform a 3 on 3 or a 4 on 4 attack match. For the final bit of information, let's do a quick rundown on what executable files we need since the installed patches brings us to a whopping 17 different Mugen executables. If you simply want to play a Mugen simultaneous match with either a three or four teamed roster on the screen at the same time, then choose the AI357 versions. If you want to only use the AS004 tag functionality or prefer the unique fight settings offered from the patch, then select either of the four executables with the versus phrase. The difference between these three comes down to user configurable settings such as universal hit stun, counter hit effects, life bars, tag transition methods, and more. If you wish to play a combination of both, that is the possibility of a three or four man tag match, then type in your preferred AS004 version system.def path into this space in your Mugen.cfg. Afterwards, select either of these executables. Thanks for watching.